All right, guys, in this lesson, we're going to look at basic network security in terms of uh, wireless local area networks and a local area network. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what local authentication is and then network authentication. I'm going to keep it quite simple and I think you'll be able to follow quite easily. So let's have a look here. Let's begin. So let's talk about a local authentication. When I talk about local, I mean a single computer that you are sitting at at that moment and that you have access to, all right? We're not necessarily talking about being connected to a network. So local authentication, how does it work? Well, you're going to get to a screen that looks similar to this or has, at least has the same principles, okay, that asks you for a username and a password. So you're going to then type in your username and your password and based on your username and password, if it is correct, you then have access rights to the computer and certain permissions with uh, what you can and cannot do on that local computer. So that's what local security is all about. You have a username and a password. You type it in. The computer system then authenticates your username and password. If it is authenticated and it is you are granted permission, you then have access to the rest of the computer system, the OS, the files, etc., and you work away happily. If you cannot remember your username or password, like most of my students, then you have no permission to access the computer and you keep getting sent through to the login screen until you can remember or recover your username and your password. Let's look at network authentication. So it's not too different. The only thing here is we're going to look at permissions, okay? Permissions and, and access rights. So on a network security system, we have a username and a password. That then goes through to a server where all the actual usernames and passwords are stored and kept. Authentication takes place there. If you are authenticated based on your username and password, you then have permission to some folders, but not others. And I'll explain that why in a minute. If you do not have any access, permission denied. No access to any folders on the network whatsoever. So how, what does that mean for us? Well, when we have our computer and the server, okay, and we have our files and data all located on the server, some people who belong to the right groups or the security groups on the server will be able to have access to those files and folders. You need to be in the right group. If you're not in the right group, you do not have any access to those files and folders. Here are some of the groups you probably want to be a part of if you really want to have uh, access to everything. Administrator, super user, and that gives you special permissions and access rights just by being a super user, which is on some uh, operating systems, or an administrator on other operating systems. Being an administrator means that you have got very special permissions. You have a slightly higher level of access than your standard user would have, and you'd have access rights far above what your normal users would have. And you can access things and perhaps run certain functions and features on the operating system that the average user could not. And that is what network security is about.